Okay, we're here with Aaron with the Olathe School District. Aaron, how you doing? I am doing wonderful today, thanks. So what do you think about, about this whole operation? You know, today's an absolutely amazing day in Olathe. I mean, it's the best example of a community coming together from all sorts of aspects yeah. and doing amazing things for kids. So I, I could not be more excited. I mean, the whole idea of Miracle League, giving every kid, I mean, a chance to play on a baseball field is amazing. Um, as far as the turnout today, what do you think of it? You know, I have a feeling by the time 12:30 rolls around, we're going to have a, a, a packed house. Th this complex here, this is the school district's complex where Friday night, all kids and families come to play mm -hmm. sports, play ball, um, and today's going to really reflect the fact that truly any kid can come here um, and play ball. And so the crowd will just trickle in, and it'll be awesome. That's yeah, going amazing. So how long, okay? So you've been involved with this since the beginning, correct? Since the beginning, about 2006, we originally uh, started. We started an idea. Uh, we'd seen a video. Uh, the director of the Kansas City Miracle League showed us a video about the concept. The hospital fell in love with it, Olathe Medical Center, wow. and we just started gathering community support. It's taken us a little while, uh, but the Royals and Calvert can got involved, and it's just taken off. So how long have they been involved? You know, uh, it's probably been eight months or so that they got involved. The Royals used some of their all-star money mm -hmm. and donate $150,000. The huge. medical center committed $125,000. Wow. And then we're good. We have enough to build a field. Well, starting back on 2006, I mean, have to go through all of the turmoil that I mean, the country's been through, the economy. And, exactly. Exactly. And then for the, those two big organizations to come through like that, that's yeah. amazing. That, yeah. that shows what kind of support you have. Yeah. And it just tells you good people do great things for other people. And that's exactly what's happened here. That's pretty cool. So... This home plate. <laughs> home plate. All right, Paul Michael Davis, MCTV News, here with uh, Greg Holland. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Greg, Greg Holland with the uh, Kansas City Royals. What do you think about Miracle League? What do you think about the whole idea of giving every kid a chance to, to play in a baseball field? That's awesome. Um, you know, it's something that when I first came to Kansas City with Lou Cochaver and his charity, mm -hmm. that's the first time I kind of uh, was even aware of it. And it's awesome because kids need to be outside and, and, and doing stuff and competing and having fun with with people and, and, and their friends around them and it just gives them a chance to, to be on the field and playing a sport that they like to watch on TV and uh, the camaraderie with all of them, it's just really special. That's cool. Well, I want to thank you for coming out today. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a great thing. Yeah, right. yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, can't wait to put the hard hat and the shovel on here. <laughs> right. Are you going to be one of them up there? I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> Jamie Bloom, a former Kansas City Royals pitcher. And he, he lives, this is his backyard for, for anybody that's watching right now. So, uh, Jamie, what do you think, I mean, what do you think about this? Awesome. Been involved with, with Kansas City Variety that's that's tied in with this. Uh, being a former Royals player, know some guys from the Cal Ripken Foundation. And to, to get a chance to build a field like this and give kids the opportunity to get on a baseball field like we've gotten to do our entire lives is, is really awesome. So, okay, and you've been involved with this since the beginning, correct? With this part of it, yeah, we did the dedication and we started talking about it a little bit, you know, six, eight months ago when we talked about it. We were at the Diamond Club at the stadium, had a bunch of kids there. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously yesterday they did the dedication for the one in Independence. Mm -hmm. I don't, I live on the Kansas side, so I live over <laughs> here. So uh, nice to get a chance to get out with some former players. There'll be a bunch of us out here today, some current players, and, and just do our part to, to give kids the opportunity to get out on the field. I guess what I was saying about from the beginning, from the beginning, since the Royals have been involved, eight months, correct? Absolutely. I didn't have a lot to do with that because that's more of the current guys, and I don't know who in the front office. I know Laura Gross Hands is here, but I'm sure they tied it in with Cal Ripken Foundation and Variety, and to be able to have it all come together. Talking to some of the people out here in Olathe, this has been five or six years in the making, and yeah. to see it all finally happen is really awesome. So, and if I understand them, to not to really bring up anything personal, but you sing and dance, right? 
I, uh, myself, and actually Jeff <laughs> Montgomery that's here today, uh, and Al Fitzmorris, and we all did a Kansas City Variety, <laughs> the Variety Show, where we had to sing and dance to a song called uh, You Gotta Have Heart from the Damn Yankees musical uh, back in <laughs> February. So we got embarrassed that day, but this is this is all, all for the kids. So now, would it be too much, Jay, to, to ask you to give us a little, a, little, a little part of that? There's current royals here today. They're the star of the show, so I'm just going to play off in the background and not dance. You don't want to <laughs> see it again. This one you don't have to stand and put your hand over your heart, you can just listen in. Please welcome freshmen from Olathe Northwest and Olathe North High Schools to begin our program. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Toby Cook. I'm in Community Affairs and Publicity for the Kansas City Royals, and this has been an unbelievable week for us. Um, we had an opportunity to celebrate a groundbreaking yesterday at McCoy Park in Independence, just south of the Truman Presidential Library, where an adaptive field we celebrated a groundbreaking and we're here to do the same thing at the Miracle League field in Olathe. And I would love to hear a, a big cheer for all the work that's gone into today here in Olathe. A lot of today has to do with the 2012 All-Star Game for the Royals. We just uh, passed the 2013 All-Star Game, but Major League Baseball comes in every year and partners with us with a program called the Lasting Legacy Program, where a couple of million dollars is left in Kansas City and the surrounding area for community events like this. We pledged about a million and a half, thanks to the 2012 All-Star Game, and we were able to get more money because we had such great attendance at the events that took place at All-Star. So this is directly a part of the 2012 All-Star Game to be able to have groundbreaking here in Olathe for this program. But the Royals played a small part, and you're going to hear over the next few minutes the other people that made it possible for kids with disabilities to play on an adaptive field right here in this great complex. Um, we also had a kind of deja vu moment yesterday when in Independence, after a pretty nice little hot stretch, it cooled down, there was clouds overhead, and Independence over there claimed that it was a Chamber of Commerce forecast in Independence. Well, I think the Olathe Chamber of Commerce moved it up one notch today with beautiful weather. How about that? I'm going to invite uh, Greg, our Royals closer, and some of the other uh, 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 alumni that are here this afternoon uh, to come and take a spot in our reserve section in the shade so that they can rest up. We have with us today, and please welcome them as they come to the uh, stage, um, Jeff Montgomery, Royals Hall of Fame pitcher and Fox Sports Kansas City broadcaster. We also have joining Jeff, uh, Roy former Royals players Jamie Bluma and Steve Jeltz.
First, I want to call up to the podium uh, a man who I got to know the minute that he was announced to be coming to the Fox Sports Kansas City booth a couple of uh, years ago. We had a neat connection. Uh, my wife and I have five kiddos at home. Four of them are just as happy and healthy as aunt and as ornery as any kids that you would want. And our fifth one is the rock star of the house. She was born with a blessed extra chromosome. I wanted to bring her out here today, but she was just tearing up the house, and I just, I just left. That's what I do. When people say, "How many, how many hours do you put in at Kauffman Stadium?" Um, I say, well, i got five kids at home, and so sometimes I stay and see what happens in the bottom of the ninth inning before I get home. We love our Caroline. She's going to play here someday. I know. She's two and a half. And Rex and I have a great connection. He's Rex Hudler from Fox Sports Kansas City. Rex. Thank you, Toby. How is everybody in Olathe today? Oh, man, I've got to tell you, congratulations on your, the city for gaining a field like this. Toby mentioned he's got a, a child with up syndrome. So do I. But, you know, there's a lot of kids that have other disabilities, that have wheelchairs, and that have walkers that aren't able to negotiate a beautiful, typical field like this. You folks need to be congratulated for landing a Miracle League field that will make memories for a lifetime that all children, disabilities, or not can use the facility negotiate their way around that turn and maybe do a head first dive into home <laughs> the fact that the, the, the city's going to take care of the maintenance of the field that is all really special but the love of baseball is not only experienced by us who were fortunate enough to play it at the professional level but it's enjoyed by all especially special needs kids they're no different just because they may not be able to communicate and be able to share their feelings, when you put a uniform on them and you let them take this field, nothing but unconditional love and joy, they'll show you and it'll make you feel good. So folks, congratulations again. You're gonna be coming here. Now, I, 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 I want you to come out and watch them play. And when you see them, the excitement, and you give them enthusiastic uh, round of applause like you just did, that makes their world. It makes them feel good like the K does for Greg Holland. When you come in and there's a big crowd and they're amped, what does that do for you, Greg? A couple notches. Turns him up a couple notches. <laughs> Same thing with the special needs kids. Folks, I'm like Toby, honored and thankful to have a child with a disability. Those parents that have a kid with a disability or a child, it's a blessing. We look at that, we dwell on the positive things our kids achieve, not what they can achieve. Well, I'm extremely thankful to be here today. I, I, I wouldn't have missed this for anything. But from the bottom of my heart, congratulations. And thanks for letting us and the Royals be a part of this special moment in Olathe. Folks, have a great time. And we'll see you at the yard tonight, huh? Thanks, Rex. Um, in partnership with Major League Baseball in the 2012 All-Star Game and the Lasting Legacy Program and Royals Charities, we have partnered up with some great organizations to make this Miracle League uh, field happen. One of them is the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation, named after the senior to the guy that played all those games in a row uh, with the Baltimore Orioles. Please welcome Chuck Brady, the Vice uh, President of Strategic Initiatives for the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation. Thank you, Toby. Thanks, Toby and um, Rex. Thanks for that uh, uh, energetic uh, kickoff to this. I've, I've never heard um, kind of description of what we're going to do here, given as uh, as well as you do. So thank you for uh, for getting us off to a great start. You know, I'm uh, also just as excited about um, the groundbreaking today. We've been anticipating uh, getting this field underway for children for a number of months now, and it's. Uh, we're just on the heels of actually getting bulldozers out here to start the project and hopefully in, uh, in a couple of months kids will be playing out here. I've had the um, experience working with the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation for the past seven years to travel around the country and everywhere I go I, I get to see the extraordinary spirit uh, of people and that spirit shines no brighter than right here in Olathe. Uh, it's been such a pleasure working with um, the Miracle League board and folks from the city that we've met 
and and Deborah from Variety, and you'll hear uh, a number of them. It's just so refreshing and, and makes our job so easy to do something that makes people feel so good and it'll benefit uh, so many kids. Um, you know, I said yesterday, Toby kind of talked about his repeating uh, his joke. Also, in uh, coming out here, I kind of looked up a little bit about Cal Ripken's um, time here in Kansas City when he was uh, a player. And... Um, I did note two things yesterday that, uh, ironically, Cal's first game as a major leaguer was against the Kansas City Royals, where he was inserted as a pinch runner um, in August of, of 1981. And uh, by the way, Cal scored the winning run in that game um, <laughs> against the Royals. And then on the very next season, which would have been Cal's first season, uh, first full season as a major league player in his first at bat. Um, in his rookie year, uh, he hit a home run. What I didn't know was that Dennis Leonard, who threw up that home run pitch, was sitting in the audience. Um, so Dennis said, yeah, that was me. <laughs> but as you know, you know, Cal went on to be uh, the uh, rookie of the year that season. And um, after his first game with the, uh, against the Royals, he went on to play in 3,000 more games. Uh, including 2,632 games in a row, as, uh, as many of you know. But if you ask Cal now, um, and we talk about this quite often, you know, Cal hopes that when he's no longer here, he's remembered more for what he accomplished and what he did off the field than what he did on the field. And if you ask uh, him that this would probably be one of the biggest hits he had in Kansas City, uh, because what we're doing here through his foundation is going to give kids an opportunity, like Rex said, to get out here and, and, and just be a kid, to have fun, to feel like a big leaguer on a first-class field built just for them, um, and a field that's going to allow them uh, the same opportunities as so many other kids um, that love the game of baseball. Uh, before I end, I just want to uh, take a second to thank a couple of folks, uh, and I know I'm probably going to forget some, but some, uh, many are, are, are already, have already been recognized, but, um, you know, Variety KC has been a great partner, and I won't get too much into them because you're going to hear from them in a little bit. Uh, of course, the city of Olathe and the Olathe School District have been wonderful to work with. Uh, again, we're doing this. Um, across the country and, and we have good partners and maybe not so good partners. Well, I put the uh, Olathe School District and the city and the Miracle League of Olathe up at the top of great partners. Um, they've been wonderful to work with. And of course, we had so many folks that kick in for in kind to help us where they can with through their businesses like Strickland Construction is going to be doing a bunch of the work here and Payne and Brockway who did all the engineering needed. Um, and reclaim materials yard who's donating some stone and so forth and so on there's a lot of people this is a, a certainly a team effort uh, we just want to thank the Miracle League for letting us play um, a small role in this project and then our latest uh, uh, kind of pinched uh, stepped in as uh, I don't want to say a pinch hit or maybe we just added them to the team and they stepped up and helped us get over the top was uh, Sprint who recently made a $25,000 donation to the project and Justine Green is here from Sprint um, uh, representing today so thank you Justine um, for being part of this wonderful team and then uh, Jason Duke uh, again from IBEW uh, they kind of stepped up to the plate uh, and want to do a scoreboard for the kids here so Jason's here somewhere I saw him he's in the back thank you Jason and, uh, and IBEW for, for kicking in and doing that and and lastly the kansas city royals um we have an opportunity to work with a lot of major league teams uh in, in the work we do in the cities we do and i haven't seen support from a major league team on a on a project or um in the community like i've seen here in kansas city and the players that come out and the alumni i think these uh alumni groups probably the best uh, in baseball um, in coming out and supporting some of these projects so thanks guys we look forward to getting started thank you Chuck Chuck mentioned a great friend of Royals Charities and the Kansas City Royals Variety Children's Charity 
and their Kansas City chapter and the unbelievable work they do with mobility just in life in general, but it really touches our heart on baseball and softball fields and especially adaptive fields. Please welcome the Vice President of Variety Board of Directors, Mandy Levins. Thank you, Toby. A variety of the Children's Charity of Greater Kansas City is extremely excited to be part of this project. Our community has a huge need for inclusive parks and baseball fields. Nationally, about 13% of school-aged children are living with some sort of disability, and that's one in four families. And these kids and families need a place to go where they can be engaged and with their community and participate in these activities along with able-bodied children. Variety is a volunteer-based organization that has been supporting and changing lives of families in the Kansas City area for 80 years this year. Simply put, uh, we raise money to help Kansas City kids with special needs, and our mission is to provide local children with special needs the adaptive, equi adaptive equipment they need for mobility opportunities and inclusion. Variety children desperately want to be active members of their communities and we help them achieve that goal by gifting them specialized wheelchairs, adaptive bicycles, mobility strollers, walkers, chairlifts, and many other forms of, uh, forms of equipment and assistive technology. When we learned that this project was being discussed, we knew immediately that we wanted to contribute funds as well as our time and energy and connections to make it a reality. This project is a perfect venue for Variety Kids to get active and enjoy fun times and fresh air with other families and children. There are very few venues right now that exist for children with disabilities and where they truly feel welcome. Places that are designed to remove any barriers for their participation. Places where able-bodied siblings and siblings with a special need can play together side by side and connect. Many of our Variety families are here today and I'd like to introduce you to one of our Variety kids, Ricky Hernandez. Ricky understands the importance <laughs> Ricky understands the importance of mobility and inclusion. He's been a part of the Variety family for his entire life. Variety has assisted him with every wheelchair he's ever had so that he can be included in activities most of us with able bodies take for granted. Going to school, visiting the doctor's office, playing sports. One of Ricky's favorite sports is baseball. So Ricky has a small baseball field in his backyard for him to play on. Now, his dream of baseball and inclusion will spread to many other children in Kansas City. Ricky is the inspiration for the two adaptive fields we're celebrating today, and he has a few words to share with us. Ricky? Ricky, is this the part I was supposed to rehearse? <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> I really didn't have a speech here, but uh, today's technology is wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> okay. When I was six years old, I watched the groundbreaking on my field in my backyard, and I had no idea that ten years later, I'd be watching another groundbreaking for another field. These past ten years, I've been blessed. I've gotten to watch great baseball played by amazing kids without even having to leave my backyard. Before I leave today, I want to say thank you for all the great memories. I'm excited to create more memories here at this new field, which wouldn't be possible without the love and support from the community. So thank you. Throughout the process, not only uh, uh, these adaptive fields as a part of the 2012 Lasting Legacy Program, which is thankfully now spilling into 2013, 
I know that this has an official name, but around the Kansas City Royals, we just kept calling it over and over Ricky's Field. And you can call it that, too. It can be your nickname for this field, but what a wonderful opportunity. And Ricky had a great moment um, a couple of months ago um, when the all-time uh, saves leader, who was a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure for the New York Yankees, came to town and wanted to meet with several people and Ricky was one of them that got to meet with him um, and it was a it was an unbelievable afternoon at Kauffman Stadium and it's it's great to have him as a part of the program we couldn't do the program without it and we couldn't do this program without it so thanks Ricky for the uh, for the uh, words. Um, at this point, I'd like to bring up a, a couple of gentlemen, the director of the Miracle League, Jerry Rockhold, and Eric Hughes, the chair of the Miracle League of Olathe, also from Strickland Construction. Guys? Thank you all very much, and <clears throat> this started 13 years ago, so you can imagine what it feels like for me today to look around and see all of you here. It's incredible. We couldn't do it without all of you, and we couldn't do it without those very special kids. Real quickly, I want to introduce you to my son, Matthew. For the last 12 years, I've pitched virtually every Miracle League game, and he's been my catcher. When he wasn't my catcher, my older son was my catcher, so we've been actively involved, so thank you, Matthew, for being here today also. <clears throat> Basically what happened is 13 years ago I watched a video that changed my life and hopefully the lives of so many other people on HBO Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel and Frank DeFord. Not knowing at the time where it was all going to lead, just knowing I had to get up out of my chair as my kids were getting ready for summer camp and do something about it. So I made some phone calls around town and started a project and sometimes it's good that you don't know what you don't know because I just jumped in with both feet. Over the years people have asked me why did you start this and I tell them the better question is why not? If you see the video and I've done presentations now in the community for the last eight years, not one person has ever said no. So the real question is, why not? So I want to give you a brief history. I was planning this thing to death 13 years ago, worried to death where we're going to play. And of all things, the video came from somewhere. And on top of that, an article from the Kansas City Star portrayed, of all things, Ricky Hernandez and a ball field that the Dream Factory built, and there's a gentleman named Dick Smith here who's instrumental in getting that built. First time in the country, they built an adaptive ball field as a wish. And Ricky's first wish, his mom Gloria said, was a horse and a llama. Thank God his mom said, what's your second, what's your second wish, Ricky? Because he said baseball. So here we are today, <laughs> or the whole thing would look totally different. <laughs> anyway, I've been working on this for years. I've had a lot of help with a lot of people. So the tagline is we're multi years behind the scenes overnight success. But I couldn't do it with all this, out the support of all the people. It's been a great thing. I want to thank especially the Royals, Variety, Cal Ripken Senior Foundation, Olathe Medical Center, City of Olathe, Olathe Parks and Rec. My first presentation was to Olathe Medical, and I was scared to death. Talked to the board, showed the video. They said yes. A few days later, I got a call, and they pledged $125,000 to get this thing started. So thank you, Mr. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Frank Devisol, the CEO, and Olathe Medical. They've been great. All right. Basically, what I want to close with, and to tell you why we do this, something that happened recently at the Royals. Uh, we were there for the second time in three years at the Little K. They did a great job. We had 73 people there. We played a game. And the things that make this, why you do it. A little boy who's here today, Ivan, hold your hand up. There's Ivan. Near the end of the game with two innings to go, Ivan very politely comes over and tugs on my pants and says, Mr. Rocco, Mr. Rocco, Ivan, come up here, buddy. He said, he's coming up. Here he comes. He said, can I come, can I sit with you for, at the rest of the game? And I said, sure. You talk about making my day. So here's Ivan. Come on up, buddy. And also, a mom told me, we have a little girl named Amanda who had been sick all week and couldn't do anything, and somehow she rallied to make the Miracle League game, and those kind of things happen every time. So she was at the Royals with us, too. So those are a couple of the stories. Oh, okay. man. <laughs> okay, in closing, I'm going to give you a couple of my favorite quotes. If you remember the movie Field of Dreams, it's one of my favorites. And part of that movie, they say, if you build it, they will come. Well, guess what? We're building it, and you all have come. So we think that's great. And secondly, and lastly, my other favorite quote is, be the change in the world 
that you wish it to be. Well, thank you, everybody, because you're helping us be the change, and we want to thank you, everybody, for coming here today. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, sir. You are. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Let me introduce you, Eric Hughes. He's the chairman of our board, and also with Strickland Construction. Thank you, Jerry. I just want to thank everybody for being here today. It's a real honor to be a chairman of this committee. We've got a lot of good people. And if you're on the committee, if you would, or if you've been a part of this process, please get raise your hand here today. You can see there's quite a few people. I'm just going to kind of hit a few of the highlights real quick on the people that I'd like to thank and have been a big part of this process. And first of all, is Dr. Erin Dugan. She has been unbelievable, and I promise you we wouldn't be here today without Erin. So Erin, where you at? Right there. Okay. She's an awesome lady, and she has lots of awesome people. Also, I'd like to introduce Dr. Barry, the superintendent of schools here today. Lane, Lane Green, the athletic director for the Olathe School District, has also been a big help. And then I'll be honest with you, after we went to Independence yesterday, we felt like we needed to step up our game. So uh, we planned that on the way back, Lane and Aaron, and, and uh, she called Tom Lillis. Where you at, Tom? Tom Lillis with the school district right back here, and uh, he made quick order and put things into quick shape. So I think it turned out really nice. And Tom, we want to thank you and your crew for your effort that you put together today. Okay, I, I just one other thing I want people to know is I'm uh, a lifelong resident of Olathe. Um, my parents had a business here in town for 40 years, and and uh, we have always loved the Royals and in, in, uh, in this community. And I'm going to read some of the community people that have stepped forward in this process, but I, I really want to thank the Royals for being here today, taking time out of your day. We love you guys, and uh, we're just glad that you're a part of this process. So. With that, there's a few people I want to recognize. Number one, the Olathe School District. Thank you so much for donating the ground and stepping forward today. The Olathe Chamber of Commerce. Um, Payne and Brockway was mentioned earlier as civil engineers. Hollis and Miller. Uh, Santa Fe Trail Rotary Club. Opus Group. Van Trust. Noon Optimus Group. Simmons First Bank. International Bro Brotherhood uh, Electric. And then last but not least, uh, Dr. Pat All, are you here? I know you're here. I saw you earlier. Uh, Pat was one of the first people to step up in this uh, process as well, and I want to thank you for that today. And, and again, uh, just real quick again, I know you've heard them all already, but again, I just want to thank the Kansas City Royals Charities, uh, Cal Ripken uh, Senior Foundation, and the Variety. And uh, uh, one other person, Mike Jensen, with the Olathe Medical Center, we're glad you're here today and everything you've done. If I've missed somebody, I'm very sorry, but I hope I try to get everybody. And uh, thank you again. We're glad you're here, and we can't wait to play ball. Thank you. you got to go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, feel free. Eric, I've been working on my confidence and uh, not being afraid to tell other men that I love them. So, Eric, I love you, too. Thank you. The Royals Charities loves you officially, and you've done a great job here. Our final presentation before we do the official groundbreaking comes from the city of Olathe and the Mayor Pro Tem, Jim Randall. Thank you, Thank you Toby. Thanks for being the MC today. Toby mentioned the weather. And I don't know if you know it, but July 24th, today, is typically the hottest day in Kansas City. Uh, I just want to ask, how many of you people are not from Kansas City area or Olathe? Several people there. Okay. Uh, I just want to let you know, this is typical July 24th day in Kansas City. So please come back if you uh, have an opportunity and visit us again. Uh, the other thing I'd like to thank, uh, the other group I'd like to thank are all these wonderful royals sitting here. Now, Greg Holland, no longer arguably, but is the best relief pitcher in all of baseball. Thank you, Greg. When you ask baseball gurus and say, why is he so good, they'll tell you he's got three different pitches. He's got a fastball that kind of starts at 94 and can get up to nearly 100. He's got a curve that nobody knows where that thing's going. 
and then he's got an off-speed pitch. And if you ever, you've ever seen him set up a batter with a couple of 95s and throw an off-speed pitch and watch that batter strike before the ball ever gets to the plate, you know how good that is. Now, the reason I mention this is we have had tremendous partnerships to make this happen today. Some of you brought your curve. Some of you brought your fastball. Everybody here has made a contribution. So I'm going to ask what Eric said, but I'm going to ask you to stand up, if you would. If you had something to do with this field happening over the last 10 years that it took to get it built, would you please stand? Let's see who those folks are, and let's give them one more great round of applause. Thanks for bringing all your pitches. It took all of them for this to happen. The city of Lakeland is always proud to be a leader in embracing our differences and advocating for persons with disability in all aspects of life. The Kansas School for the Deaf is here. We've always welcomed all populations. We have one more person here that doesn't know she's going to get recognized. But Sue Elliott has run our Special Pops Recreation Program for years for the school district. And I'm telling you, I don't know how many hours she spends a day, but she's up early with the players. She's up late on the bus. She's putting kids to bed at midnight. And the only problem with all this is that she's retiring. She's only got about three more weeks to go. But Sue, I'd like to take a chance to recognize you for all you've done for our special populations over the years. Come on up there. We've got a clone here over at the Northwest uh, Science Lab. So uh, is your clone here yet? I thought I saw her walk through. We need a clone for her and for all people that do that. It's been so rewarding to see our partners team up to make this state-of-the-art state adaptive field a reality and to enhance the quality of life for all of our special youth. We are very grateful to everybody who's here today who have made this ceremony possible. Your generosity, your leadership, and success are inspiring in making our Miracle League field and our community models others will emulate. Together, we're giving our young people with unique needs more opportunities to enjoy life and baseball to the fullest. And that's an investment that's going to bring lifelong rewards to us all. So on behalf of the Olathe City Council, Mayor Copeland, my other council members, thank you, thank you, thank you for your many contributions, your continued support, uh, and most importantly, for all the youth that will enjoy this field. Thank you. Before we conclude today uh, and get ready for the official groundbreaking, I did want to thank once again our Royals VIP who are in attendance for today, um, including the best mascot in all of baseball, Slugger, is here today. Big thanks again to former Royals players Jamie Bluma and Steve Jeltz. From Fox Sports Kansas City, Jeff Montgomery and Rex Hudler. And I made mention of him before, he is our all-star closer, Greg Holland. And the guy who was the heart and soul of the 2012 All-Star Week designated hitter, Billy Butler. Billy, thank you for being here today. At this time, I'm going to ask all of our Royals uh, celebrities who are here, as well as those of you who participated in the program by speaking, and anybody else who was a big deal in this whole thing, to gather around here behind the uh, uh, shovels. We'll have our guys grab a shovel with whoever else uh, you all decide to do that. We'll take a couple of pictures and we'll have our official groundbreaking. Come on up, guys. And for those who need to participate who can't grab a shovel, we'll have you just gather around the back and around the sides.
give you the count of three. If you all look as you're looking at the gathering here, I did want to mention one person, and I knew that he'd be embarrassed, but um, he's gathered behind a shovel now. Probably the greatest advocate in Kansas City history, both on the air and off, KMBC 9 anchor Larry Moore is here from the Dream Factory. Larry? On the count of three, I'm going to have you scoop and toss. Ready? One, two, three. Paul Davis here with Chuck Brady with the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation. Chuck, is a great turnout. Yeah, this was a, a, gr a great turnout. I think a lot of people are anticipating uh, the field getting here, and they all came out to support. Um, the project and show their enthusiasm and you know in, in a couple of months we'll be out here playing ball. So how did the uh, Carapin Senior Foundation get involved? Yeah you know, we were we were approached as uh, most folks in the community know that we've actually broke ground on two adaptive fields in the area over the past two days one in Independence yep. and one here in Olathe and we were actually first approached by the Parks and Recreation Department in, in, in Independence about helping them with a project for special needs kids and while we were out here uh, meeting with them we were fortunate enough to meet the folks here in Olathe and the Miracle League folks and we heard about their dream to, to build a, a park here. Well, the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation, we have a goal of opening 50 ballparks around the country. So this is something that we're working with communities across the country to wow. to open these new, uh, new facilities for kids. And we said, hey, you know, we're doing this. Uh, we'd love to help you. And, you know, kind of the rest is history. We were able to raise some money. Um, you know, in, in about six months, we were able to help them raise enough money to get this built. You heard about all the great mm, yeah. uh, donors this afternoon, but uh, about four hundred, uh, about four hundred thousand dollars, I believe, was raised wow. in six months um, wow. to build this, and we're again ready to get the get the um, bulldozers out here in a couple of weeks. Amazing. So, in relation, okay, so you said 50 uh, ballparks in a year. Mm -hmm. 50 in five years. Yeah, 50 in five years. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> so, uh, how many, uh, like, what's the tally up to now? Well, in, in our first year, we opened 15. Um, so, in 2012, uh, we opened 15 projects right. around the country. Uh, this year, we're scheduled to complete about 10 more by the end of the year. So, we'll be about halfway towards that goal. Uh, in two years, so we're on pace. Uh, that's, that's we're on not, pace not, that's uh, not bad. to to get them done. And, and you know, we're building all kinds of ballparks. Yeah. We're um, special needs parks are, are about 20 percent of the uh, ballparks we're building. A lot of the ballparks we're building are sitting in uh, inner city neighborhoods, mm -hmm. um, more traditional mm -hmm. ballparks. But we're giving kids in urban neighborhoods an opportunity to get outside, have a safe, positive place to play. Uh, and, and give them an environment where we can create some mentoring relationships with adults and, and all great folks like we, we're out here today. Uh, and just give them some alternative. You know, kids are kids have so many opportunities to get involved in negative things these days. And, and we need to give them more positive alternatives. Well, and the idea of the park to, to give every kid a chance to, to play baseball, I mean... Yeah, this is great. You know, um, these adaptive parks are really special to us because, you know, we can build ballparks for little league kids yeah. and uh but you know with, without what we're doing here you know kids uh, like ricky hernandez that we saw today and so many others literally can't play ball yeah. you know and when you see these kids out there playing and you see um i was down in north carolina for our very first project that we did for uh -huh. special needs kids and i think I, I drove down there for a groundbreaking and and it was early sunday or saturday morning and Maybe I was having a bad day, and I got there, and I wasn't in a great mood. But then we got these kids. Like these kids were out there playing ball. Some of them could barely move some of their limbs, but the smiles on their faces. And I said, how can we ever have, you know, a bad day if these kids can get up and come out and, and play ball? Uh, and they have such a great attitude about life, even though they you have so many challenges. Just makes you take a whole new perspective on life. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I mean, looking at the right now, the the ball fields. I mean, it's just uh, uh, bases and lines. Yeah, and they already want to be out there. <laughs> and they're out there. You know, wait till it. it's a finished field that they can. Uh, you know, it's flat and it's actually a surface they can move around on, and you know, real foul poles, a real scoreboard, and dugouts and everything. They're I think this thing, old kids, will be, be out here all the time.
Well, thanks, thanks for coming so out and, uh, and covering it for us. Yes, sir. It's um, our pleasure completely, and this is a great thing. And thank you for everything. We'll be back for, I'm sure you'll hear about the ribbon cutting. Probably uh, in October. You know, maybe October will be done, and we'll, we'll get everybody out here and show them what we, what we built. We'll be here, right? Okay, thank you, man. Hi, I'm here with Toby from the Royals. He's with the uh, Community Relation Relations. And Toby, what did you think about today? It was awesome. We've been working on this for a long time, and then when the 2012 All-Star Game came to Kansas City a little bit more than a year ago, Major League Baseball made it possible to spend a lot of money in Kansas City on projects like this. And it was really fun to see it go from a young man's backyard, an adaptive field, Ricky oh. Hernandez, to seeing uh, the groundbreaking of an official field here in Olathe for kids with uh, disabilities to be able to play. Well, I know that, I mean, uh, knowing Jerry Rockhold, uh, hearing about the uh, the games at the Little K at the stadium, mm -hmm. I mean, amazing how, how much the Royals have been involved with this. Well, we like to be involved in the community whichever way we can, but the two areas that we really like the most are something to do with kids and something to do with making sure that they get to play baseball and softball. Mm -hmm. And this is an opportunity for us to be a part of through the 2012 All-Star Game, but beyond, making sure the kids with disabilities get to play baseball and softball too. And if they're going to build a field out here, we want to be a part of it. You got to be. You have to be. Now, it was great seeing the Royals players, and well, I mean, past and present, mm -hmm. um, here, especially after last night's game, and this close to them being, yeah. being off. I mean, uh, how much uh, do they support this? They support it a lot. They do what we ask them to do when it comes to kids with disabilities. We have a special Olympics clinic on the field. We have a Royals Charities golf tournament every year that goes to Special Olympics. And when we say it's kids in Special Olympics or with disabilities, okay. the answer is yes right away. Amazing. So now and then to see, I mean, I mean Larry Moore show up, mm -hmm. you know, had, you know, like I said, the past and present, I mean, uh, Greg Hudler and Jeff Montgomery. Um, it's just you guys do some amazing things. Yeah. I want to thank you on behalf of MCTV. And, thank uh, you. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. You bet. Go Royals. Go Royals. <laughs> I will see you. All right. Thanks, thanks man. Toby. How was the turnout today for you? Did you like it? Turnout was great. This is 13 years of behind the scenes overnight success, and it was great. And you can see how many people it takes to make a project like this, but we're all working in the same direction. It's all gonna happen. Amazing. So, so Matthew, what did you think about it? I just like to see a smile on the kids' faces when I come out here. It's the greatest thing in the world. So uh, once again, Paul Davis here with uh, the Miracle League in Olathe, and uh, we'll see you soon.